Hey, this is Chris. Welcome back to the Daily Brigandi. Today's item is a pretty rare autograph card, and that's of Roberto Clemente. So Roberto Clemente autographs, uh, in general, they're pretty tough, um, especially when they're on cards. So here we have a Topps card from 1972. Now, what makes this card more rare than uh, most Topps cards signed by him? So if you know anything about Clemente, um, he tragically passed away uh, 1972 on New Year's Eve, going to 73, um, and he was on a plane that he had chartered to go to Nicaragua to help earthquake victims. So he was providing relief. The plane was filled with a uh, cargo plane filled with supplies um, to help out. And tragically, the plane crashed shortly after takeoff uh, out of Florida. So because he had passed in uh, 72 on New Year's Eve, this card that was printed just let's say six to eight months earlier, um, is extremely tough to get autographed because you have such a short window uh, to, ha to have them sign it. So that's what makes this card particular, particularly rare. Um, but Clemente Topps cards in general are, are pretty tough and they're definitely on the rise as far as value. Um, so let's take a look at the autograph itself. This is a typical 72 circa uh, autograph by Clemente um, and he inscribed it, best wishes. Um, and this is, he typically signed top bottom like this, stacked like that, Roberto and then Clemente below it. Um, the card itself, um, you know, 1972, it's a pretty clean card, um, not bad. And, you know, it's an, the autograph's created in eight here. I'll flip it over and, you know, just your standard back here. Um, nothing, uh, you know, the value would be here on the front. So Clemente, I've said this so many times in my videos, uh, he's my favorite player all time, not just because of his on-field achievements, right? He had exactly 3,000 hits when he passed and he was still in his career. Uh, that, albeit at the end, but you know he would have obviously uh, hit many, uh, had many more hits. Um, but his off the field achievements are just as uh, great, if not even greater, than what he could do on the field. Um, and of course, today we have the Roberto Clemente Award, and that's awarded to the person who shows the best off the field, um, you know, uh, help and um, a sense of community and giving back to their uh, towns and you know local uh, communities. So that's why he's my favorite player. And uh, of course, you know, extremely rare autograph on a Topps card like this, especially the early ones too. If you have a rookie card signed by him, forget about it. Uh, that's a very rare item. But this, again, I think there's only six in the, or seven in the PSA population, and this is the highest graded. So definitely a rare card uh, signed like this. Uh, if you have any questions about Clemente cards, Clemente autographs, uh, signed cards in general, please comment below, shoot me an email. Thanks for watching The Daily Brigandi. We'll see you tomorrow.